Hello. So earlier we were looking at uh, the reflection and the refraction. Now under refraction we we'll look at the finding the relative index of a material when given both um, the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction. And this, in this case we have an example there that says find the relative index of a material with angle of incidence 50 degrees and angle of refraction 40 degrees. So we know that relative uh, index is equal to sine i over sine r. Now we need to, to say sine i is angle of incidence that is 50 degrees over sine 40 degrees. Therefore you need to punch properly. And you're going to have n is equal to 1.19. So it has got no units. It's a ratio. So there's no need of you adding units. So that's how you can find the relative index of a material. Let's look at this example. What if you are given a surface and you have this angle as 30, then there's this line that is going this side. You have this angle that is 45. Uh, let's say 40. Yeah. Let's make it 40. So calculate there is the refractive index of this material. How can you calculate the refractive index of material? Now you need to know that the data which you have here, you have the angle of incidence that is 30. You, you don't have the angle of refraction. Remember that the angle of refraction is this angle here, which is formed between the normal line and the reflected ray. So, to find the angle of refraction, we'll say it's 90 because this angle is 90 minus 40, that will give us 50. Then we can proceed and say the refractive index is equal to sine i over sine r, sine 30 over sine 50. So that's an n. Zero point six five. So we'll give us zero point six five as the reflective index. Mm -hmm.